hello to everyone and welcome once more again to this another video series of um, physics gc practicals so in today's video we are going to be looking at uh, optics which is station and um, here we are asked to determine the focal length of a converging lens so we all know a, con a converging lens is a convex lens as we have shown in um, this diagram from what you can see here and um, in this experiment our requirements we simply need is a converging lens a metal hole a plain sheet of paper and here is how our diagram should look like so first of all light rays from the distant window um, comes from one end and here is our new or our converging lens and that is our screen so a lot of students have difficulties with this particular experiment and um, in this video i'm just simply going to cover some of uh, those challenges and how to overcome them because um first of all in most um, laboratories we hardly have all the setup like um, a light source and um, our screen and all of that so basically experiment is usually poor but as usual um, this kind of experiments are likely to be there because um, the execution of the experiments are very cheap and many people can carry out the, the experiment at ease so uh, you have to take advantage of that so if you, if you meet something like this the first thing you need to do is you can sit down we have a metal roll and um, your screen in this case is going to be a plain sheet of paper or an A4 paper and your light source will generally be a window but now what is this experiment for us on a day that um, maybe the weather is very bad and uh, you, there's no light coming out from your window so it's always advisable to go to this um, practical session with um, your touch or your light source now uh, you, you some schools are going to provide it for you but it's always advisable to go with it so that you can show the invigilator your light source and um, they can check it and allow you to use for you to have actual results so you'll be given a convex lens and uh, a metal rod so you just have to set it your convex lens will have to be moving on your metal rod and you simply have to just attach a white sheet of paper on uh, one part of the the, um, the metal rod probably at the point of zero and you still hold it with your convex lens once you're moving it like what i mean is you move this lens either front or back now when you see the brightest image the brightest image that is where the the image will be formed on the screen so um you have to mark the point on the metal roll that is you indicate the point you have to do the experiments like two minutes you follow the same procedure like two to three times and uh, you take an average so to report your experiment this is how your setup is going to be like and um the metal will simply be the first step you have to take is like the apparatus are arranged as shown above the the image of the distance um window is focused on the screen and in this case our screen is a white sheet of paper but if you're given something now just make sure to use it very well until the brightest image i is obtained on the white screen of paper and uh, the third point is the distance f from the center of the lens to the screen is then red from the metal roll remember that you are all carrying this experiment on a metal roller it means your movement is actually on it means this experiment you don't you don't need um like a second hand because if you do that you're cheating in the gc hall you carry all your experiments alone it means uh, they are never going to give you an experiment that that uh, will require you to ask for help from someone so as i rightly or as i earlier explained you just have to um, be very very careful obviously you are not going to be seeing these ways yeah because most of people will be expecting that but no you just put your light source on at one end or you use a window as a light source and if you're provided maybe you can use a candle actually uh, as a light source if that is provided to you and you just have to put it at one point and you're moving your lens your convex lens on your metal roll once you you, you, you note 
the brightest image you just stop and you read the time you do that two three times and under your um your observation you see the first time we're assuming here so please don't cram values or don't memorize these values you actually do it in, in your uh, in your hall and come up with values so your meta rule will definitely be calibrated in centimeters and uh, the first uh, point will be 18.6 centimeters the second one 18.4 you can even go ahead and take right up to the third or fourth one and you're going to get uh, the average so the average of this will be f1 plus f2 divided by 2 now uh, if there were three values you'll be f1 plus f2 plus f3 divided by 3 if there were four values you are going to do same note that the average should always be around one of the values or around the values you've obtained so your inference will be good so here the inference is actually the knowledge that you use in getting your calculations and in this case what we did is the distance from the center of the lens to the screen at the brightest image equal the focal length of the lens so that's our observation and as we as we know from our basic knowledge the focal length has been defined here and it's simply the distance from the optical center of um of the lens to um to our to our to our um, focal point so that is the distance there f so we need to take very good care of that or very good note of that and uh, our conclusion or our calculations we have actually done the calculations here so what you could do here is you simply you simply uh, repeat the same uh, calculations here or you keep it uh, blank so your conclusions will be hence the focal length of the lens that is given to you is this value remember that you'll be giving different lenses and the truth is that the way you're reporting your experiment will actually determine the marks that you're going to get so always be very truthful and write it um no data work always go straight to the point and so our precaution here is that the distance f is measured twice and the average calculated so as to increase accuracy or if you did it three times you say the distance is measured thrice and the average is calculated to increase accuracy and that will be off your experiment as easy as that so that is it for this video this is actually part four of the video series if you want to see the part one which is talking about the, the density of an irregular object or part two which is how to measure the and this the the rate of heat flow or the speed of heat flow just check in the description box i'm also going to add like uh, some cards that will appear above where you can go directly to the videos and watch also so that you should be better prepared to uh, tackle any experiment that comes your way so um wish you all the best of luck and um see you guys in the next video oh don't forget to subscribe and like and share for others when you subscribe make sure to turn the notification bell on so that whenever i upload other videos not necessarily practical videos i'll also be uploading solutions to um past gc equations explanation of difficult um, topics like trigonometry integration center of gravity and so on so make sure to subscribe and, and stay tuned for upcoming videos wish you all the best of luck and see you in the next video